A joint project seeking to maximize the development potential of free movement of persons and migration in West Africa has come to an end. The project was a collaboration of the International Organization on Migration, International Center for Migration Policy Development, European Union and ECOWAS. The project closed out in Abuja after eight years of supporting the effective implementation of the ECOWAS Free Movement of Persons Protocol and the ECOWAS Common Approach on Migration. And we are Thomas reports. Four years after its creation, ECOWAS adopted the Free Movement Protocol on May 29, 1979. This protocol promotes regional economic integration and seeks to foster cooperation and development. But this protocol has not been effectively implemented. The European Union sponsored the FMM project, which started in 2013, as a way of addressing the challenges of implementing this protocol. Member states have the capacity to be able to drive the migration process in the region. And um, you can see that we've been able to um, strengthen the dialogue process under the migration dialogue in West Africa, which also involves um, the Mauritania. We've been able to institutionalize some thematic areas. We also uh, conduct a certain number of research in different countries uh, based on the requests they made, but we also uh, promote dialogue between the West African countries in addressing a certain number of issues that they have identified. And the capacity within ECOWAS to uh, develop review policies for free movement and migration. Case in point is the ECOWAS National Biometric Identity Card, uh, which we work together with the Free Movement Directorate in uh, creating uh, awareness and sensitization within member states on the importance of the uh, ID card and the importance of the uh, free movement protocol within the integration. One of the concerns raised by border experts on the free movement protocol has been on trans-border security. Mr. Elumelu believes solution to this is to share data and information as free movement is not an enabler of insecurity. You see, we should always separate migration and security. We need also to know that um, that having to connect member states in the wisdom of our founding fathers, the protocol of freedom was one of the first protocols that was um, adopted. It is to enable that relationship within member states, especially those things that continue us, but to continue to live like brothers. Achieving free movement of persons, right of residence and establishments remains a major strategy to achieve the purpose of ECOWAS. It is time for ECOWAS member countries to focus on the advantages of free movement and migration which can help develop economies. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.